I have a confession. I'm not a professional bow maker, though I do love bows because I think they make even a basic project look beautiful. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my five secret tricks that will help you to make a beautiful bow every single time. Hey there, I'm Gina Luker. Welcome to the Shavi Creek Cottage. Here on my channel, I share new videos every Monday to help you make a little magic in your home with DIYs you can actually do. So in today's video, we're gonna make five easy bows that I promise you anybody can do. So if you enjoy this project, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notifications every Monday. The first bow only takes two pieces of ribbon, a 20 inch long piece as well as a 24 inch long piece. You'll take this short piece first and that will be the loops on your bow. So you're gonna fold it in half to find the middle before kind of creating a loop and you want to flatten it out just by taking the ends and and pushing it just past the middle part on either side and then you're going to smush it up in the center before you twist tie it with the pipe cleaner which will hold the loops in place next grab your long piece which becomes your tails then you're going to fold it up in the center just to make you a thinner section in the center then use it and tie a knot around that bow. The flat part will be on the front, which will hide the pipe cleaner. And then the knot will actually be on the back of the bow. After you have that done, you're just gonna take and cut your tails evenly. I like to dovetail where you go and create a V in there. And then that's it. You can use that pipe cleaner to, um, to tie it onto your project. And this guy is perfect for everything from a wreath to a, a Christmas gift. For this bow, you'll need one 20 inch long piece, one 16 inch long piece, and two 22 inch long pieces of ribbon, meaning that you need four pieces of ribbon. So you'll start off with the 22 inch pieces and you're gonna fold those in half so that you can find the center before you overlap your ends, giving about an inch on either side of the center so that you can create that loop just like we did in the first bow. The first two are gonna be the same size. The second one is that 16 inch, do the same technique, but it's gonna be a little smaller. So after you have that part done, you're gonna scrunch them up just like you did the last bow, and you'll do the second um, longer piece as well. Then you're gonna crisscross them in an X form. Then you'll do the smaller piece and stack it right on the top, going straight across in the center. Now, everything else is basically the same as the first bow. But with this bow, you can add more and more and more layers. So I wouldn't go too crazy, but you can definitely add in different um, types of ribbon, different colors, different textures, and you can get a really pretty full bow just by adding on more layers of colors. You can use this bow for pretty much anything, just like the other one. Um, it's a good classic bow that you'll find that you use over and over again. This is the classic wreath bow. You can use it on anything, but it's the classic wreath bow, and this is how you do it. You wanna start with a spool of ribbon, and you wanna mark two spots on your table. Mine are about eight inches apart, and then you're just gonna go back and forth and stack it up, folding it in on each side. Once you have it as many loops as you want, I did about 12 passes. You wanna cut it off, stack it up, and then give it one half turn right in the middle before using a pipe cleaner and then twisting it together. Now you don't wanna twist it too tight because now you wanna separate out those ends, those straight cut ends, wrap it around the pipe cleaner and then tie it off and cut off those tails. Next, you'll separate out each of your loops by going one one way, one the other way. And then as, as you go in and you fluff up those loops, you're gonna put your fingers in and then give it a twist each different direction so that they have um, different directions and it creates more dimension. This is the classic wreath maker bow, but like I said, you could use it on anything. And it really is probably the easiest one or the easiest way to make a really big bow 
really fast and you could even use different kinds of ribbon if that's what you chose. Just make sure that you keep them all stacked up together so that, um, so that you have a good fluffy bow and it all looks cohesive. This bow will need 10 pieces of ribbon, three cut at six inches long, three cut at seven, and three cut at eight inches long with V cuts, as well as one straight cut on the end piece of 10 inch ribbon. So I started off by just crisscrossing them on the table, when um, an X and then another one in the center. I did this for all three lengths. So I started with the eight, then I did the seven, and then I did the six, so that they were all kind of graduated around so that it would create kind of a star looking bow. After I had that done, I scrunched it up in the middle before I put it together with a zip tie. Zip ties are one of my favorite bow making tricks as they are easy to put your pieces of ribbon together and it'll hold it really securely. So I zhuzh up my pieces of ribbon, make sure they're exactly where I want them to be before I cut off that zip tie which is pretty much my favorite DIY trick ever. Then I use the 10 inch piece of ribbon to tie it around and hide the zip tie. And then you're ready to put it on basically anything. You could put it on a present, you could put it on a wreath, you could even use it for a hair bow and that would be darling too. the first bow I learned how to make, um, actual bow. And my daughter taught it to me, and so now I'm gonna teach it to you. You wanna start off with pieces of ribbon. Mine are about 12 inches long. You're gonna fold down one third and leave the other third out so that you have a loop that's about two thirds of the bow. Then you're gonna pinch that together and hold it together, sort of like a bouquet of flowers. Now, you see that tail? You can make it longer if you want so that you could twirl them. You could use different types of ribbon if you wanted, though I just stuck with the same classic black and white gingham, or I'm sorry, red and white gingham. And um, after you have your little bouquet of loops, you're gonna zip tie it together and fluff it up and you're done. It's really, really it. Um, it's super simple and it turns out just perfect every single time. So easy, right? It's literally the most requested tutorial I get in my craft group, which if you would like to join, you can jump over and join for absolutely free at the shabbycreekcottage.com slash community. Now, go forth, make bows, put them on projects. And if you need more project for inspiration, <laughs> make sure that you check out these other videos on my channel and hit subscribe if you enjoy them. Thanks so much for watching.